I'm Dr. Gabby Cora, and we're at the National Publicity Summit here with Maureen St. Germain. Maureen, welcome. Thank you for having me. I was uh, hearing a bit about your story, and it's so exciting and so inspiring. Please take it away. Well, I'm a single mom. I raised four sons. They're all out of the house and on their own. But I joke around about how much money it actually cost me, which is over $100,000 in cash outlay for tuitions. But I, not only did I do that, but then I went on from my corporate world and began teaching meditation to the point where I was able to do that meditation work full time. And I taught in 11 countries, over 150,000 people. And I've developed in the process a way to always know when your higher self or your intuition is accurate. Let's go back a bit. So you were in this corporate world, working 24-7, you know, really into it. And what made you want to change that? Well, I'm a very innovative person. And I wasn't afraid to call a spade a spade. So I lost my job one too many times and realized that I really needed to be self-employed. And so I started to learn how to meditate. And this became my hobby. And one year I looked at my receipts and I had made $20,000 just in the meditation classes. And I thought, you know what? If, if this were my hobby, I could probably do a whole lot better. So that's when I walked away from the corporate world and said, I'm ready to make this rock and roll. So tell us about how you made that shift and then what happened. Because now you've taught in so many countries and so many people. Yes. Well, I taught uh, meditation on the weekends and kept my corporate job for eight years. And so I did double duty. And when I needed to travel, I would pick the weekends that our sons would be with their dad. And I found a way to... Um, opened up that opportunity and became the best known facilitator of a particular meditation form and so then my classes would fill and I would be invited to these fabulous places. That's so wonderful. Tell us a bit about your technique. Okay, so my technique is a way to harness your hunches or connect with your higher self. And it's a, it's a nice easy protocol. It takes five minutes to learn and it's just a simple set of rules that you have to follow for six weeks. Um, for example, you're only allowed to ask unimportant questions. You're only uh, asking yes-no questions. You're not allowed to use any other form of divination, no pendulum, no muscle testing, no cards, none of that. It's on you. It's on you. And you deliberately ask stuff that you really don't care about. And what happens is you're not allowed to keep score either. So what happens is you, you're at a restaurant. You're with a group of people. You look at a couple of things. You're like, this looks good, this looks good. You ask your higher self, you get told this one. Everybody else in the group orders the other thing. You get the best meal in the house. Um, you look in the refrigerator at chicken and fish. The fish is a day old. You ask, you get told, chicken. You have to cook the chicken. Really? But the fish is going to go bad. Chicken. Okay, fine. You cook the chicken. And then the doorbell rings. Somebody's there and they haven't had dinner. And you can say, look, join me. I've got plenty of food. And it's those little things. And here's the metaphor. Your ego is your friend. It got you here. It motivates you to go to school or whatever you do. But your ego makes its decisions on your history, not on the possibility of the future. And you, as a therapist, know that the history is no indicator of the future. So it's kind of like the person who has a good, uh, a good practice as a... Um, a massage therapist, and they hire someone to take care of all the details, the, the linens, the appointments, and all the things of the office. And then the, um, you go in one day and you say to her, I'm going to take all my point, do all my appointments, and I'm going to order the linens, and I'm going to order the supplies, and she'll say, well, what am I going to do? Well, that's you and your ego when you decide to use your intuition. That's why it doesn't always work, or that's why you don't trust it. But with my method, what happens is you spend six weeks in this playtime, this practice time, and what that does is develop a rapport between you and your intuition on stuff you don't care about. Then it's like going to the races with your friend that always wins. When they say, you want to go with me, you're going to go, yeah. So after that cycle of trials, your ego is happily agreeing with your higher self or your intuition. And there's a lot of little you know, steps along the way where you pay attention and use tools to um, encourage that that accuracy and that clarity. To become one. This is so interesting. We're in, and, and how can people get a hold of you? You can find me on my website, www.maureensaintgermain.com. And to make it real easy, you can also look up Angle Angel, Angle Angel, 
dot com, a nice easy way to remember it. Or Meditate with Maureen is another short way to find me. And uh, I'm in New York City, but I travel all over the world, so we do have a schedule on our website where you can find me and take some of my classes. Well, this is wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me.